with news, traffic, and weather on the sixes. Good morning, everybody. Thanks for joining us on Good Morning Idaho. We're continuing our live coverage this morning of the Kenyon Road fire near Twin Falls in Magic Valley. It has ballooned now to 100,000 acres. It's huge, but that's not the only situation we have on our hands today. Also, the weather. Kyle is joining us uh, to tell us what we can expect for the entire week. Well, more intense heat today, even warmer than yesterday possible in the Treasure Valley. And don't forget that because of all the daytime heating, we have to watch out for late day isolated storms. We had near 50 mile per hour wind gusts in the valley yesterday. The same thing possible today. Treasure Valley under a fire weather watch. Red flag warnings for areas off to the west, mainly eastern Oregon, but also uh, near areas of our west central mountains as well. And that fire up around 100,000 acres now, that's two and a half times the size of Boise. I'll have more on your on your side forecast coming up. Thanks so much, Kyle. So again, the Magic Valley is dealing with one of the biggest wildfires in the entire country. Tina Jensen has been covering the fire really around the clock for the last 24 hours. Yeah, and BLM tells us that that Kenyon Road fire started on Saturday, of course, burning very strong this morning. We're going to be checking in with Tina Jensen right now. She's live on the phone again, giving us an update. Good morning, Tina. How close are you guys to uh, the actual fire, would you say? You know, the staging area here, um, their kind of ground zero is several miles out from the fire, um, enough where you can smell lots of smoke. But this fire really is in the wilderness, and uh, they just had their warning briefing. They're now estimating this fire is at 125,000 acres or more. It might be closer to 150,000 acres, they say, at this time. Their goal today is to keep it out of the Bruno wilderness. And as I said, it is a wilderness, so they want to keep in mind there's wild horses out here. And it also is the Oregon Trail region, so there are historic areas at stake at all as well. Um, they just gave the weather report for today. They're saying out here it's a high of 104. They're expecting wind gusts of 20 miles per hour, so they will be battling wind again. And they're also saying there's a 20 percent chance of thunderstorms out here. So, you know, although rain could be a good thing, thunder and lightning obviously is not. And they did also warn firefighters just now. They had one incident of heat exhaustion yesterday where they actually had to um, use a helicopter to take one of the firefighters to a hospital. So they're warning firefighters not to wait. If they start to not feel well, to let someone know and not to wait on that. There are about 275 personnel on this fire right now, and uh, they expect to work around the clock on this fire. You're, you're there on the scene, and you were at that briefing. How would you describe the, uh, the emotion, the atmosphere right now out there? You know, I would say that they are just very, very focused. You know, they're taking this very seriously. Um, one of the largest fires in the nation, if not the largest fire at this point, um, very focused. Uh, lots of great leadership out here. They've, um, you know, set their plans and uh, you know, several crews fighting this fire, each with their own, um, you know, job that they need to focus on. But with such a large fire, there are just lots of personnel ready to work. All right, Tian, thank you so much for that live report. And just to recap again, we're talking 120, 125,000 acres burning right now. A couple hundred people are out there helping fight that wildfire. Fortunately, it is not moving towards Twin Falls. It's about right. 25 miles outside of there, and it's moving the other direction. So that's good news there. Very rural areas that Historic are burning. Historic sites, too, in that yeah. area. So we'll be watching this and um, checking in all morning with Tina. Yeah.